What's up, everybody? It's the most professional wrestler, Brian Myers, and the host of the Major Wrestling Figure Podcast. And you're watching High Society Productions. Is that it? Nobody's watching this. Let's let's be let's be honest. See you later. Welcome back, all you beautiful people. As always, thank you so much for continuing to watch my videos. It's been a minute since I did this, so I just wanted to say thank you. If you're new to my channel, thank you as well. Um, I'm going to get right into it, though, because if you saw the title, this is how to get to 100 subscribers instantly. And I am the man to tell you how to do that. Before we get started, however, I do want to remind you to please subscribe to my channel. Hit that little bell notification so you can be notified whenever I drop new content. Make sure you like the video and keep coming back for more. All right, so I've got 10. That's right. Count it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I don't know why I did that way, but I got 10 steps for you to get you to 100 subscribers instantly. I'm talking watch this video and then 100 subscribers. If I did it, you can do it too. But first, you got to watch this video and you've got to watch it to the end. Don't try to skip through because you got to do each one of these steps. I'm telling you, they're all important. They're 10 phenomenal foolproof steps and they are serious. Kind of. So number one, this is pretty important. Got to start with number one, right? Start a YouTube channel and then just continue on with your life. Upload every once in a while, maybe two times a year at most. Don't do that. Before you upload your video, make sure, however, to do the following things first, okay? One, when editing your video, use as many different transitions as possible. No. That's right. Have you ever heard that phrase, the more the merrier? Where do you think it comes from? That's right. It comes from video editors using every transition in the book when they edit. I'm telling you, fade to black, dissolve, film dissolve, sprinkle, I don't know. Just every transition you can, use them all. Don't just use one. Don't just use two. Use them all. That's what you got to do. I'm telling you, the more the merrier. No. The second thing that you have to do when you're editing videos, use copyrighted music over the video. I mean, come on. That's a bad idea. Your channel is small enough right now that it won't matter. And then when you do blow up, which you will, you'll have enough money to, to pay for the rights to music anyways. So no, don't, no, just, just no, no. Plus, newer mainstream songs will help you grow your audience. No one wants to hear something they've never heard before while you make peanut butter and jelly sandwiches or, or whatever your video is about. Which, by the way, I brought it up, so I might as well go ahead and give you this free tip also. also. Make peanut butter and jelly sandwiches in all of your videos. Sounds, sounds crazy, but I'm telling you, everyone likes a good PB&J tutorial. I mean, back to the music. Peanut butter jelly time. Peanut butter jelly time. There you go. You can even use that. You're welcome. On to the next tip. Tip number two. Watch other YouTubers' videos, like successful ones, and watch them a lot. Don't watch them for tips, though. Okay, don't, don't waste your time doing that. This is the only video that you need to watch for tips, I promise. What you need to do is watch them and copy everything that they're doing. Don't do that. Don't do that. Like, exactly, as much as you possibly can. Do everything that they're doing. Try to sound like them, be like them, do whatever content they're doing. I'm telling you, copying is the best thing to do. No. And if you got a little bit of extra dough, go ahead and get some plastic surgery. Because if you look like them and sound like them, you're, you're definitely doing good. No, don't, no, just, just no. No. 
while you're on these YouTubers channels, by the way, make sure you go down in their comment section on all of their videos and leave your link or your channel description, something to get them to go to your channel. Don't do that. Don't do that. Like do it a lot on all of their videos. No, trust me, they won't mind. Spam the shit out of them because what's going to happen is everybody watching those videos, check out the comment section because we all look at the comments. Come on. They'll see your comment go into your channel. They'll immediately drop everything they're doing, go over there and subscribe. Remember, you can never spam too much. That's not the way this works. That's not the way any of this works. Tip number three. Spend thousands of dollars on equipment. Yeah, I wouldn't do that. Don't use it though, all right? Just buy it and say that you have it. By the way, pro tip, have the equipment in the background of all of your videos. People will be like, damn, they weren't capping. I'm definitely going to subscribe now. Tip number four. Don't waste your time on the little things, okay? Lighting, it's not that important. People will say it is, it's really not. Wrong. The dim flickering light that you have on in your basement is perfect. It's just, it's the perfect amount of light for whatever type of video you're trying to do. If you're wanting a darker effect, maybe something spooky or whatever, just, just go to the hardware store, buy you a can of black spray paint and lightly spray paint the bulb. And if you want it to be brighter, same concept, just, just get white. You're welcome. That's not the way this works. That's not the way any of this works. Same goes for audio. There's no need to use that expensive mic you bought. Just have it sitting there on your desk so people can see it. But use the internal mic on whatever device you're using to record. And if it's too loud, just take a hand towel and wrap it around the microphone. That's a bad idea. If it's too quiet, there's not a real fix for that. You might just need to speak up a little bit. Yell if needed. That's not the way this works. That's not the way any of this works. Tip number five, five times. Five time. Five. Consistency will only bring you stress. I'm telling you, don't worry about being consistent. Couldn't be more wrong. Like, seriously, everybody else will say, you gotta be consistent. You gotta at least put content out every week. Don't worry about it, okay? It's it's just added stress that you don't need. Don't put that evil on me, Ricky Bobby. And definitely don't try to put out content every day of the year for some silly content challenge. Don't even worry about releasing content on a monthly basis. It's like a cock. When it comes, it comes. Tip number six. That laffy daffy. That laffy daffy. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. When you buy all that expensive equipment, make sure you get yourself a green screen too. Just set it behind you when you're doing all your videos. Don't even worry about ironing it, tightening it, keeping it flat. None of that matters. Don't even worry about learning how to use it. It's just a waste of your time. Wrong. All you need to do is set it behind you. Those wrinkles show how much you use it. No, don't, no, just, just no. No. 
all these people watching will see it, they will be impressed and they'll keep coming back because they're waiting on you to actually use it. Like for them to see you use it. Like just they'll wait patiently. They'll come back and watch every one of your videos expecting one day for you to use some sweet ass CGI. But you and I know you're never going to do it. That's not the way this works. That's not the way any of this works. Oh, seven, tip seven. <laughs> product placement. Always have some sort of product in your hand or nearby throughout the video. Showing these products will eventually gain you sponsorships. These companies will see your videos and see that their products are constantly being shown, basically for free. They'll contact you. Boom! Big payday on the way, baby. Wrong. I like to have bang in my videos. Mm. They taste delicious and let people know that I spend a lot of time in the gym. As if they couldn't already tell. Don't worry about making content for a specific audience. Make content that you enjoy. What's that old saying? If I enjoy it, everyone must enjoy it, right? I don't think that's a thing. If you try to make content for a specific audience, what you're doing is singling that audience out and completely forgetting about everyone else that could be potential subscribers wrong. So just do whatever you like and people will come. That's right. Build it. They will come. Make content that you want and they will come. That's what it should really be. That's not the way this works. That's not the way any of this works. Also, make peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. I'm telling you everybody likes a good PB&J tutorial. Did I say that already? I sure did because it's the best tip I'm giving you. Is this nine? I mean, nine? Yeah, nine. The longer, the stronger. If you aren't making at least 60 minute videos, what are you doing? Wrong. The longer, the stronger. The longer the video, the longer the watch time. The longer the watch time, the stronger the chance of YouTube recommending your videos to others is. The longer the stronger. That is what it's all about, right? So even if your video is only three minutes long, just record at least another 57 minutes of you just looking at the camera. Or how about you make some peanut butter and jelly sandwiches? Don't do that. Don't do that. 10, 10, tip 10. The final and probably most important step, and it's really simple. Just keep watching this video right here until you've surpassed 100 subscribers. You can keep watching it after that if you want to as well, but at least just keep watching it over and over consistently until you surpass that 100 subscriber mark and then boom you have completed the task you have completed the challenge you have done what you set out to do with my help and i'm so glad i could help you so just keep repeating this video over and over again until you surpass that 100 subscribers then congratulations
Okay, so you made it through my 10 tips to get you to 100 subscribers instantly. Hopefully you took every single one of those tips with a grain of salt, but I appreciate you watching this video. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button and give me a big thumbs up. You know, I need those thumbs up just as much as you guys. However, don't actually follow any of those tips, obviously, right? I'm by no means um, the person that you should be listening to if you're trying to get to 100 subscribers. With that being said, honestly, there are a few things that I can tell you to do that will help you be successful as a YouTuber. Um, I mentioned in my video, I said to watch other successful YouTubers. You should, you absolutely should, but don't try to imitate them. Watch them and try to figure out what it is that's made them succeed, what's made them successful at, at YouTube, and then incorporate it in what you're already doing. And that will definitely help you progress and, and succeed on YouTube. Um, I've never watched Mr. Beast, Eric, uh, the Logan Brothers, or any of the other pretty well-known successful YouTubers, but I've watched plenty of videos talking about them and explaining what they've done to succeed on YouTube, um, how they've beaten the YouTube algorithm. And just, I've watched several tip videos, basically. I've watched hours, hours upon hours <laughs> um, of various YouTube channels that give legitimate tips, unlike this video, by the way. <laughs> uh, legitimate tips to reach subscriber counts, surpass um, watch hours, tips on lighting and editing techniques, uh, several other things that help to keep me learning and just getting better. I can't, I can't express enough how important using YouTube is to help you become a successful YouTuber, a, a successful content creator use what's at your fingertips, watch YouTube videos. That, that's that's the biggest tip that anybody could ever give you. It's the biggest tip that I've ever been given is just watch other YouTube creators that are successful and incorporate what they're doing. Figure out what they're doing and incorporate it into what you're doing and then, and then you'll succeed. Um, most of my videos take an hour or more to export from the program I use. I use Adobe Premiere. Um, and I, I do it a high bypass and whatnot. So it, it they take an hour plus. And then it's another 20, 30 minutes to upload it to my channel. During that time, I spend that time looking at other people's YouTubes and just learning as much as I can, doing as much research and just learning. That's, that's what it is, it's, it's learning. And I feel it's helped me progress a lot. Like. When I first started, my thumbnails were garbage, okay? I just, I used the generic ones that they had. I don't know why I didn't think. I mean, I've always had Photoshop skills. I could at least put it into Photoshop and did something with it. But since I watched some videos and tips about thumbnails, I've greatly improved my thumbnails. I mean, at least I think so. And I've been complimented by others that my thumbnails are eye-catching. So I'm doing something right. But um, no one can tell you what's best for you, okay? From the equipment you use, the content that you create, it, it has to be you that makes those decisions. And um, tips are great, like I said, but the best way to learn is to just do it. Man, am I turning into an inspirational speaker? <laughs> um, but yeah, that's, that's all I've got to say. Um, thank you again for watching my content. Seriously, I am so grateful for every one of you that are, are watching, especially if you watched all the way to the end. Hope you got a couple laughs. Um, hope you learned something, because like I said, watching other YouTubers learn, it helps you. Uh, well, it helps me anyways, but give me a big thumbs up, comment below what you thought, maybe give me some tips. If you, if you saw something or you can think of something, just leave it in the comments, let me know. I wanna get some interaction going in the comments. I've been trying, so hopefully I'll succeed at that, but. Thank you so much once again, signing off.